Hey guys, uh, in today's video tutorial, what I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how to use in Hibernate so with uh, ASP.NET MVC5 application. So basically, it's gonna be a simple, you know, call operation. Uh, most of the <coughs> so basically, I'm using jQuery and then you know ASP.NET 5 and then you know basically integrating all my data access layer is done by the end hibernate so let me show you what the application looks like what the application does basically this is little search feature let's say I have here a list of all the US state abbreviation and let's say I'm from the list I'm going to choose one of the state and as soon as I choose any state from here system automatically populates all the counties in that state for example here are some of the counties some of the counties from the California state of California and if I choose any county then it's gonna populate all the infrastructure of, of the state of, of, of that county for, for example airport area bar you know bridge building canal whatever cemetery church then you know now let's say I want if I'm interested to know all the churches in the Colusa County in California then I, all I have to do is basically I select the church and then do a search here. System automatically goes into backend database and, and pulls out all the all the information. For example, in the in here is the name of the church in the county in California, and then here it has the latitude and longitude information also. And the other thing I have done is since I have these two information, latitude and longitude, based on that I can go into Google Maps and open it up and see the actual address. This is what this application does. Let's say now um, I'll go into. Let's go into a more. Well, let's do one more search. Let's go into um, state of Massachusetts and it pulls out some of the county from there. Let's say go into Bristol County and see all the churches in that county. Or maybe something else. Let's see. Um, all the the park. There is all the different all the parks in that county. And then you know maybe you want to visit. Then you can look in the Google Maps. Oh, beautiful. New Bedford, Massachusetts. Okay, this is what <coughs> this is basically the application. This is what it does. Now, um, let me show you one by one how to write application like this using ASP.NET MVC5. Uh, okay, my goal is to teach you everything in detail. So let's go ahead and close this application right now. Um, let me go ahead and close this. Okay, let's open the Visual Studio 2013. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and open and create a new project. Let's create a new project. It's going to be ASP.NET Web Application. Let's go. MBC search with an hibernate or something like that. And from this, I'm going to choose one of the template. Let's go ahead and choose the MBC template. And okay, good. Now it's going to create a template. It's going to create a pro you know project with a bunch of files in it. It is loading all of those, trying to put all the all the XML files, creating all the folders. Okay. This is, you know, if I run it now, of course, you know, this is the default. This is the default generated by the Visual Studio, and basically it goes into the home controller, and, and goes to the home controller right here, and, and then goes to the index method, right? Okay, now, very first thing I'm going to do 
Um, instead of right now, if I go into the app store folder and look at the route configuration, this configuration is now basically going into home controller and then going to the action method of the home controller, right? Let's go ahead and change it to go into. Um, I'm going to name it as a feature infra search controller. Infra search. Info stand for infrastructure of the count, you know. Oh, uh, even let's say uh, county info search or something. This is my controller, county info search, and it's gonna go into index. Of course, if I run it, this one now it's gonna fail, right? Because it doesn't. It's it's gonna looking for this controller which doesn't exist. Now, next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go into here and create a new controller called county info search. I'm going to add a controller and let's go ahead and add a empty controller. It's going to be county info search controller. Okay, this is my controller and by default it created index method for me and it didn't create any additional method like for, for the CRUD operation, which I don't need. That is why I just created an empty controller. Which is good. If I run this one now, it's going to fail. Uh, of course, you uh, if you are, you know, if you have some, uh, if you have some knowledge about ASP.NBC, it's now basically looking for this view, which doesn't exist. That's why, you know, it says, hey, I don't know, uh, the view doesn't exist. That's what it's telling us. That's what it's telling us. Which is all good. Now, let's, let's do this. Um, let's go ahead, put the mouse cursor right here, and go ahead and add a view. In index view um, we don't have any template we don't have any model yet just to uh, just create it we will add all those things later just create an empty index here index page so that it you know um, this is county info search page something just to make sure you know it is hitting this route good okay as you can see it is you know coming to the right page because you know we, we, we changed the configuration in the, in, in the file that is good so you know our goal is to of course you know um, now integrate and hibernate into database now we have index the next thing we're going to do because you know we're trying to integrate and hibernate let's go into a solution here um into a project right click this one and ma go to manage NuGet package basically we would like to download and hibernate we would like to use it in our project here you see and hibernate go ahead and install it So, uh, as you can see in here, you know, basically into the uh, references, it basically added some library here, for example, it added, of course, in Hibernate, and it automatically all the associated or dependent library also loaded here, like in Newton soft JSON is dependent on this guy, and this also, I believe. Okay, <coughs> that is all good. And make sure. Let me see. So next next thing I would like to do is, you know, like now I have a reference to the unhibernate DLL or library, so I would like to use it. But before that, you know, I have to do some configuration. So what I'm gonna do is this. I'm gonna go go ahead and add a couple of folder in here. Let's see, I'm gonna say mapping files or even to be more specific in hibernate mapping files okay this is this is where i will have my my uh, n hibernate class and n hibernate mapping uh, xml files and then i'm going to go ahead and create new more folder before this i have to let you know like i have this you know trial version of the software which is good for only 10 minutes after 10 minutes it automatically closes so i will have to continue the second 
सेकेंड डेली